Your daily caloric intake depends on your resting metabolic rate, your physical activity level, and the thermic effect of food. Your resting metabolic rate is the rate of calories you burn at rest during digestion and respiration and blood pumping. Physical activity is the amount of work or exercise you do per day, and the thermic effect of food is mainly driven by the amount of protein and carbs that you eat. What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Jordan Weber, and today you're gonna to figure out how to calculate your caloric intake. The first thing you're gonna do is calculate your resting metabolic rate, or your RMR. You're gonna use the Harris-Benedict equation for that. As you see here at the top of the board, we have RMR via the Harris-Benedict equations. First, you need to figure out uh, your height in centimeters. So the average American man is 5'9", and women is 5'4", or 176 and 162 centimeters. So for an average American man, we have 90 kilograms. A female, 77 kilograms. So for males, it's 66 plus 5 times your height in centimeters, plus 13.8 times your weight in kilograms, minus 6.8 times your age uh, in numerals. So if you're 30, just put 30 there. For females, it's 655 plus 1.8 times your height, plus 9.6 times your weight, minus 4.7 times your age. So let's go ahead and look at the average American man. We have 66 plus 5 times 176, plus 13.8 times 90 kilograms, minus 6.8 times 30, and we did 30 years old and we get 2,000 calories. So at rest, if you're doing nothing and you're a guy, most likely you're burning around 2,000 calories. For females, we have 655 plus 1.8 times 163 plus 9.6 times 77 minus 4.7 times 30 at the age, which gets you 1550. Now these are estimates, like I said. So females are about 1,500 calories and males are about 2,000 calories at rest per day. Two, you're gonna add that to your physical activity level. We've taken the resting metabolic rate uh, and K calories times your activity multiplier. So what we're doing is we're taking the average male and female and multiplying that by very light, light, moderate, heavy, or vigorous activity. For example, if you're a male and your resting metabolic rate is an average of 2,000 times 1.7 at a moderate intensity every day, you're burning about 3,400 calories plus about 3,400 3, calories plus about 340 or 10%, which is your thermic effect of food. Based on those 3,400 calories, you're going to have at set uh, 3,740 or 3,740 calories per day you can have to maintain your weight. Okay, that's if you're at around 200 pounds, and that's if you're at about uh, five foot nine. Now yours can be uh, you know, below this or higher than this, so you have to take your own calculations from the beginning and, and do your own to see where you're at. For females, we have 1550 times 1.6, so we did moderate again, and we, did, we got 2480, and we added the 248 or 10% from the thermic effect of food, and we got 2728. So the daily caloric need for average 30 year olds, male 3740, females, 2728 and this is based on a five foot nine and a five foot four male and female and a 200 pound and 170 pound you can put in your own resting metabolic rate equation through the Harris Benedict equation by going to the beginning of the video and basically figuring out how many calories you should be eating per day now what we're gonna do is synthesize where these calories should come from and what you should be eating next Here's a, here a, here a breakdown of our carbohydrates, fats, and protein for the men and women averages. For men, 3,740, and we got that number from adding our resting metabolic rate, our activity rate, and also our thermic effect of food. We're going to multiply that by 0 0.60, which is 60%, which is going to be 2,244 calories. So we should be eating 2,244 calories of carbohydrates per day. And each gram of carbohydrate represents four kilocalories that it takes to burn uh, the, the carbs. So what we do is divide that by four and we get 561 grams. So there's 561 grams of carbohydrates 
and 2,244 calories of carbohydrates. So 60% of our daily recommended intake should be carbohydrates. So taking 3,740 and multiplying by 0 0.60 is getting 60% of our carbohydrates, which is going to be 561 grams. And if you eat four meals, it's gonna be 140 grams of carbohydrates. So we're looking to try to get 100 grams of carbohydrates that are complex and about 40 grams that are simple. For women, 2,728 times 0 0.60 or 60% is 1,636 calories from carbohydrates. Dividing that by four, getting 40, 409 grams of carbohydrates or dividing it by four again and getting 100 grams for four meals. So if you eat four meals, 100 grams for women, 140 grams for men or for your average intake. For fats, we have men 3,740 times 0 0.30 and that's going to be 1,122 calories. For fat, it takes nine calories to burn one gram of fat. So it's 125 grams of fat per day and dividing that by four is about 31 grams per meal. For women, it's 2,728 times 0.30 or 30% equals 818 calories or 91 grams of fats per day. And that's going to equal 23 grams per meal. Okay. Now it's really important that we eat carbohydrates because it helps us, uh, gives us energy. It's what we utilize for energy. And fats are really important for um, insulating the organs and transporting uh, hormones and fats are also protective in that they help um, transmit uh, signals across the body okay so making sure that you're getting adequate fat and carbohydrates for protein you're at 10% so men 3740 times 0 0.10 or 10% is 374 calories divide that by 4 because it's 1 gram of protein is uh, four calories, so 94 grams for, for men per day, and 23 per meal, and women, 2728 times 10% is 273, divided by four is 68 grams per day, divide that by four is about 17 grams per meal, if you're having about four meals. So this is the uh, daily recommended intake for the average uh, men and women. And this is going to look at carbohydrates, fats, and protein intake from calories and grams, and if you ate four meals per day. All right, so what might four meals look like that have different rates of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins? So meal one, we have oats, berries, fruit, nuts, seeds, eggs, and lean meats. Meal two, we have fruit, vegetables, yogurt, or hummus, rice, bean, burrito. Meal three, we have grainy snacks, nuts and seeds, vegetables or fruit, lean meat or fish. And then meal four, we have fresh salad with dressing, complex carbs, sweet potato, poultry or fish, and hearty cooked food. I also have your dinner courses. I have three cheat meals and four made meals, meaning that three meals you eat uh, during the course of a week, you can eat whatever you want, who cares? Four, make your meals at, uh, for your dinner. Basically what we have here is calories in versus calories out. Uh, there's a scale, okay, and whether you eat um, a thousand calories of carbs or a thousand calories of fats, they're all gonna be calories in the end of, at the end of the day, okay. So all calories are converted to fat and are stored as fat. So protein becomes fat, carbohydrates become fat, and fats don't really need to transition that much. They're already fat, so that's why the thermic effect of fat is very low and the, ver the thermic effect of protein is very high because it's very complex. So what we're gonna see here is your calories out are expressed by your resting metabolic rate, which is 60% of your daily caloric need. Activity is 30% of your daily caloric need and 10% is your uh, daily caloric need for how many calories you're burning through food. So basically, yeah, here we have calories in, calories out.